In this video, we will start by changing the color right here. And then when we will press on the button, this will change each color. So let's start this. First of all, we will work inside the bottom navigation bar. So we will go inside and try to find some argument that we can work with. Bottom navigation bar right here. I will press space and you can write an argument. So I will say control space. And now I have a lot of them. So current index, this is the index that uh, is actually selected. So let's try with this. I click on it and this current index take a int value. So that's mean a number. So let's give him a number. If we give one, this will select the second one. So because Flutter start to count at zero. So this is zero and this is one. So this is selected, but if we change it to zero, as you can see, this will select the other one. Okay, so we have something logic right now. What we will need to do is tell Flutter, okay, when I press on you, when I press on this navigation bar item, I want to change this current item from zero to one. So we have a certain logic to create, but we cannot say just like, uh, okay, uh, when I press uh, the button, because Flutter will not understand. So we need to tell him uh, in the way that he will understand in dark language, dark language. Perfect. So let's, let's find another argument like control space. And this will give us many argument. Let's work with the color first before making the logic. So if the color is selected or if the color is not selected, we will change that. So I will start to write color and then a control space and you have all colors available. So fix it color selected or unselected. So this looks pretty good. So if I take the selected item color, the description mean only color because the name is already telling us what it is. So the selected color take a color. We already knew, already know how to put color. So colors, and this will give us plenty of color. So which one will we put? We can put something like the yellow, maybe it will work. So let's try with the yellow accent, see what it looked like. Okay, it looked pretty bad, but whatever. Um, we will work with that and the other one, we will use the white. So if the, it is the unselected, so we will try to find another argument inside the bottom navigation bar. We click right here after the comma, and then we can add argument with control space. I will write color and I will select the unselected item color, this one. I click on it and then I will write color because the unselected item color won a color. And we know that we can put a colors instead dot, and then we have plenty of color. So I will select one that is white. So I will try to, I will try to write white and then I find it. So I'll click on it. Perfect. If we take the app now, this is white, this is yellow. Okay. When we click on it, nothing changed, but now we will do that. Let's try to solve this. Okay. So how are we going to tell Flutter? We will start to go inside the argument because this is the main thing to do. After the background color, by example, or whatever argument, we say control space. And then we read each of them and we find the untap. So the untap will trigger what we say a function of int. Okay, what this mean? I will click on it. If we go over, this is the untap will take a function of int. Okay, so what is a function in Flutter? You can write your function, so an empty function with the bracket, uh, the parenthesis and the curly bracket like that. Now this is a function, an empty function, but the untap one, an int as an input. So a number as an input, and we will need to tell it as a variable. Okay, so we will say by example, selected, but you can write whatever you want because this is 
only a variable. So we will say selected. Now we don't have error anymore. If I press just enter to, to make it look better, and I write a function called the print. So this is a really useful function. You will use this one with the parentheses. You click on it, and we will remove the object. And if we go over print, we can see that this will take object. That means pretty much everything. So we will write a string inside. To write the string, we use the bracket like that. And then we write uh, hello, by example. So what this will show us. Let's try this. If we go in the app and we click on the alert, what this will show us is if I go up with this debug console and I go down right here until the end, I will see the hello like this. So if I restart the app, I have nothing inside my debug console. This have restart. I take my app and I click on alert. Here we go. We have the hello that appear on the screen. This is because this is trigger when we click on it, the untap. This will uh, tell us which item is selected. This will do the function. So it will print the hello in the console. Okay. If we can print hello, can we print the value that is print? So can we print the value that the untap give us? For sure. So let's write it. Selected. We click on it. And then if we go in the app and I click on the, the number one, because this is zero, this is one. I click on it. We have one. If I click on account, I have zero. So you remember if we have the current index and we can say Flutter, okay, take this information and put it in the current index. This will work. So we have something going on right here. Okay. But the selected is only available inside this function. We need to make it uh, know at every level of the code that the value will be accessible for the current index. Okay, how are we going to do that? And last thing is the selected, you can change the name. This is not a problem. Selected object, for example, but you will need to change this one as well because it's, it is a variable. So you will say object as well, but you can name it as, as uh, you will like. Okay, so you have the current index that is a value int, so a number. Let's go inside uh, the, over the build. So you have the my app, stateless, stateless widget. Then you can press enter. And right here, we'll create another variable. This one will be uh, called, by example, the index. So the index selected, I will write equal to zero. So the index will be equal to zero at first. And now, as you can see, we have an error. This error means variable must be declared. That means you need to tell Flutter which uh, kind of variable it is. And to do that, you just write int before. This is, you tell Flutter directly that this index variable is an int, so a number, and it's equal to zero at start. Perfect. Then we can replace the current index by index, just like that. And this index is this one. Here we go. So if we restart the application, we can see that nothing has changed, but now we use the variable index to display the current index. That is pretty cool. And what can we change next is inside the untap function, if we go over uh, after the print, we can say another thing to, uh, to do to flutter. And this one will be, will be the index is equal to the selected object. Selected object with the uh, with this thing. So if you go over, you have the expected to find the semicolon. Okay, this is why I remove it, just to show you that when you have an error, you go over and Flutter will tell you what is the problem. So you had the semicolon. Good. So if we take the app, this will not work. And why it will not work? It is because we will need a set state. What the set state do is restart the build. So we have the build of the application. And if you add the set state, this will rebuild the app 
with the new value of the index, so the current index. But first, to add the set state, you will need to go up and change the state less widget for a state full widget. Because in the state less widget, we cannot rebuild things. We cannot rebuild that. But in state full widget, we can. To do that, you go over, you right click, and then you find a refactor. You can click on it or write Control Shift R, and then you will say convert to a state full widget. This will uh, make Flutter convert everything for you. Perfect. And once again, uh, you you will find that now you can put this stateless, this the state full widget. Uh, sorry, it is inside the uh, the on tap right here. After the print, I said the set state. Okay, so this is what I mean. You can put the set state now because you are inside the state full widget. Now you click on it. And if you click on the set state, this will display, as you remember, this is a function because it's a parenthesis and curly parenthesis. This will take no input, okay? But inside you can do something. And the something will be to change the value of the index. The index will be now the selected object, okay? And then this will rebuild all the application. So from here, it will rebuild everything, but the index will have changed. So now if I just delete this space and I go inside my app and I click alert, nothing changed. And what is the error? Let's read. Flutter say my app is not a subtitle of type state less widget. So Flutter thinks we are still working with, with the state less widget, but now we have the state full widget right here. So we will restart the app. And now Flutter will rerun everything and know that we work with a state full widget. If we take the app, we can now click on the alert and come back inside the account. And every time we click, we can see that we display the value of this icon. So that is very nice. We will go inside the app and now we will need to, we can just remove the print because we don't use it anymore. And nothing changed, this will work still. So that is very nice. So let me re-explain. We use the untap, the untap that have an input inside. This input give us which icon do we press on it. And then we tell to Flutter, okay, if you change the input, then rebuild everything and the index that is inside the current index, so which one is selected, will change for the one that we have selected. And here we go, this will rebuild, the current index will change, and we will see it on the screen because this have rebuild. So that's it for this video and see you on the next one. Bye.